Blessed be the name of the Lord God, who has distinguished us as his own, who has called us unto himself. Today we are going to make a walk through of just three verses of the scripture. Isaiah 61 from verse 2 to verse 5. We are going to walk through it. Just sentence by sentence, line by line, somehow. But we are going to walk through it. We are not taking the whole of Isaiah 61. It's some wonderful combination of the words of God, of encouragement. Today, God is coming to, to distinguish you. Isaiah 61, from verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn. The acceptable year of the Lord. I want to tell somebody today, this year of your life, we are not talking about a new year, but it's a new year of sorts. Because a new year, for you, your own year is different from my own year. Never mind the general calendar, we were not born at the same moment. Even if we were born at the same moment, we have individual directions of life. So your year is not my year. But whatever year it is, I am talking about the year of the Lord. I am proclaiming the year of the Lord for you. That is my duty today. And this day, today, is the day of God's vengeance for you. God will take vengeance because of you. Because of the things that you have suffered in this life. Because of the things and persons that have come together, banded themselves together or individually, as groups or anything, to fight you, to work against you. It is a day of God's vengeance today. Mark it. To comfort you if you are in mourning. What brought mourning to your life? Some of us live some superficial life. You don't want to look at the things that are happening around you. You pretend through life as if things were right. But deep down, you know that things are not good. My business is to proclaim comfort for you. The comfort that only God can give. Who can comfort you except God? You yourself, you realize that you can't even comfort yourself. Talk less of what another person is saying. Because that person is talking to you according to the perspective of what that person knows. Except he spoke by the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, there is no comfort for you. Let me look at the next verse. To console those who mourn in Zion. You need consolation. It's not coming by the words that I speak. It is coming by the power of the Holy Spirit behind those words. It is coming by the anointing of the Holy Spirit behind these words that you are hearing. There is consolation for you. You know there is the consolation that the world can give, just talk, and well, somehow it makes things look like they're nice for a moment. When it is consolation that is backed by the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, first of all, it's deep down. Number two, it's not on the surface. It's permanent. It's not something that comes in a moment and goes away the next moment. It's not the kind of consolation that you receive now. The next moment you're back in lamentation. When the Holy Spirit is the one engineering your consolation, as you are hearing these words now, you are hearing words of consolation. Whatever you have faced in your life, this is consolation for you. This is time for you that God is going to give you satisfaction and give you peace and give you an overcoming power that that thing no longer has a negative effect on you no matter what is happening. To give them beauty for ashes. You know ashes, when you are in the worst state of life, people pour ashes on their heads. It's a Middle Eastern tradition, the Jewish tradition. They do it. But when God says ashes will not be on your head, you know what it means? It's because he has removed the reason for which you had to pour ashes on you. What am I saying? The thing that brought you down. The thing that brought you from your throne of life onto disgrace. God has removed the reason for that disgrace. So I'm declaring to you today that what brought disgrace to your life, what brought shame to you, what brought Sorrow to your life, God has removed the cause of it and removed it from you. And therefore, he puts a crown of joy upon you. That crown of glory has come upon you. And because of that crown today, wake up and celebrate. The oil of joy for mourning. Are you mourning? Are you lamenting? Are you crying? Some of us, are loved ones are dead. So many things have gone wrong. Your business has collapsed. Something is happening that shouldn't happen and it is so severe. Some very distressful thing, beyond distress. 
Anyhow, you can describe that thing that has happened to you, and you are left in mourning. Somebody's greeting you. Sometimes somebody calls your name. You don't even know that it's you who is being called because of the severity of what you are facing. But whatever it is that you are facing, however it is that it is happening, today the oil of God is coming upon your head, and it's coming upon your head right now. If you are listening to me, just close your eyes for a moment, for the oil of joy is pouring upon you. And this oil removes every form of mourning from your life, and gladness has taken over. In Jesus' name, amen. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Heaviness. You know, well, I don't need to explain heaviness. If you have experienced it, except you have never experienced it, when things are just upside down, topsy-turvy, you are no longer there, you don't even know where to go. You are, in fact, it makes you lethargic. You can't move again. Nothing works. Everything you try has failed, and you are beyond yourself. But you know what? I am bringing to you a garment of praise. Because when you are heavy, even if there is a song, you can't sing. The song sings in your heart. Physically, you can't sing. But today, praise has come upon you. A difference has come upon your life. That they may be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. All of these things are happening with you today and will continue to happen in your life that God may be glorified. Yes, you are the one that is enjoying it, but God is glorified because you are a planting of the Lord. All of these things are not happening because you have any power to do it. No. It's not happening because you have, this, you have the best thing in the eyes of God. That's not what I am talking about. I am talking about God's favor. Acceptable year of the Lord, the day of God's vengeance. The day that God fights for you is the day that God has restored you. The day that God puts a hedge around you the day that the angels of God surround you and the favors of God meet your life in the adequate places that things are required to happen. And those things will happen for you. Your life is going to take a different turn from now on. Let me confirm this with a prayer. Father, thank you for what you've done for every single person who hears this word. Now and in the future, whenever and wherever this word is heard. Thank you, Lord. For these facts are established, they are unshakable. And these shall remain the plantings of your life, celebrating continually all the days of their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. It's